legislations are aligned with biodiversity. And there are many um, uh, regulations and laws, but one of which that stands out locally is the Spring Arts uh, EMA Act, which was done in um, uh, 2000, which seems to highlight many of the um, issues facing um, uh, NGOs and people um, in Trinidad, and a lot of our what we do as an organization is aligned with those. Um, so, Cassie, are you familiar with the Sustainable Development Goals? Yes. And knowing that you know about it, which goals do you think align to biodiversity, to Israel? So, the center is very, um, our main goal as an NGO is the protection of the wildlife um, in the Valley Gate. And originally, this entire uh, plantation was just about 200 acres. But through sustainable um, eco uh, tourism, we have been um, expanding. Now the center owns roughly about uh, 1,200 acres, and we hope that that continues to grow and expand. Uh, uh, what are the legislations in place to deal with biodiversity? Well, there's a number of legislation that's sort of topic related. So we have fisheries legislation that would deal with fisheries in the open ocean and coastal areas. We have, um, we have the forestry legislation that would be by the biodiversity in the forests and the terrestrial aspects. And then we have um, subsidiary legislation under the EPM Environmental Management Act. That's the Environmental Least Sensitive Species um, Rule and the um, Environmentally Sensitive Area Rule. So there's a number of different acts that would um, basically regulate or govern um, biodiversity. Do you know any that is international that affects us as well? Well, Trinidad and Tobago signatory to the, uh, the UN Convention on Biological Bi Biodiversity, uh, Biological Diversity, and um, so coming out of that, we would also have to prepare what we call an MBSAP, a National Biodiversity Strategic Action Plan. So that is the action plan that basically speaks to how we treat with our biodiversity and how we meet our commitment under the international conventions. In addition to that, I just wanted to add, we are also signatory to the Ramsar Convention, which is the convention for wetlands of international importance. And part of our obligation is to have a policy. So we do have a national wetlands policy as well that, again, looks um, like conservation of our wetland resources. And as you mentioned the SDGs before, do you know well, what are the SDGs that your institution are to? So, so primarily SDG 14, Life Underwater. We were a coastal and marine research institution, so our focus is on the coastal and the marine environment. So Life Underwater is the one that pertains particularly to us because it deals with coastal ecosystems, coral reef, mangrove, seagrass, beds, it deals with impacts on these coastal ecosystems and also to with regards to fisheries. Okay. Which legislations are aligned with biodiversity, both nationally and internationally? Firstly, I want to begin by saying good afternoon to CYN and everyone out there. Um, currently, the National Deforestation Program, we try to align ourselves with some of the policies in Trinidad and Tobago, like the National Forest Policy, the National Environmental Policy, the National Protected Area Policy, and other policies like the, Interna the Coastal Environmental Management Policies. Um, we also try to align ourselves with the UNCCD, that is the United Nations Convention to Combat Des Desertification. So those are some of the policies and legislation that we try to align our activities and ourselves with. Okay, that's great. And you mentioned the UN. Yes. And of course, you would know that the UN is pushing 17 sustainable development goals. Yes. And I would just like to know, your, through your organization, which goals do they align with? Uh, well, we try to align ourselves particularly with SGC 13, that is climate change action, um, but more importantly SDG 15, which speaks to life on land. Um, SDG 15 is broken up into several core areas, so SDG 15.1, 2, all the way to 5, speaks directly to land management, speaks to reforestation, it speaks to protection of uh, hilltop um, hill, hill areas, and speaks to the overall reforestation and rejuvenation. Part of it speaks directly to Desertification, the reversal of desertification, particularly in small island development states. You know, we are focusing on biodiversity, and with regard to that, I wanted to know exactly what legislations are there in place, both 
nationally and internationally that are aligned with biodiversity. Biodiversity and what is a right? Yes, correct. So when we have some of the laws, some of the local laws that are aligned with what we do, uh, well, of course, the Environmental Management Act, which lays out the Environmental Sensitive Species Rules, we actually provide a habitat for one of the environmentally sensitive species, the ocelot. And then, of course, there's the Conservation Act, of Wildlife Act, which lays out the rules for hunting. And, of course, there is no hunting allowed on Azerite's property. So which goals are really aligned with that? Well, definitely the Sustainable Development Goal 15, which is life on land, which refers to protecting, restoring, and promoting the sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems. But as I said, we maintain and keep under natural forest cover critical habitat for a lot of our um, animals here, terrestrial animals in Trinidad and Tobago. Of course, there's also the sustainable development goal that relates to healthy lives and promoting well-being. That may be something that people may not at first think about, but green spaces are very important to promote mental health and also to promote overall health for persons.